it is work to become a fully sexual woman. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we were left alone and raised on a deserted island, we would probably get there naturally. But what we have to do is peel back the layers of guilt and shame. Mm -hmm. And we do that through touch. Yes. And we have to explore our bodies to know what feels good and what doesn't feel good. There's no one magic way to feel pleasure. Our bodies are different. Everyone has their own preference because there are so many erogenous zones on the vulva. So it's impossible right, to get to those beautiful full body orgasms without masturbating on a regular basis. I, I love what you say, Carlin. Orgasms just don't fall from heaven. Um, it's, it's not about a partner giving us the perfect orgasm. We have to take our orgasm. Exactly. Because orgasm is blood flow, right? So that's why genital massage, vulva massage is important. That's why vibrators work. That's why having a fantasy works. So basically it's like letting the body lead and practicing learning is repetition. So mm -hmm. for most of us, pleasure is an unfamiliar sensation. Yeah. And we're creating neural pathways for pleasure because the more I experience pleasure, the easier it is to experience pleasure because I feel like my orgasm window is definitely smaller. I can have an orgasm in a shorter period of time because I cycle the energy on a regular basis. It's mm -hmm. kind of like always under the surface. Right. I agree. And uh, I've been masturbating as a, since a childhood. I know you have been masturbating since childhood. We've both had a lot of practice. I mean, you know, I've been masturbating for, gosh, 60 years. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm probably at 50. <laughs> I've had a lot of experience in my body and learning what feels good. Um, my neural pathways between my clitoris and vulva and my brain are well connected. And you need that kind of practice. It's not going to happen within a few coaching sessions. You need to practice on your own. It's like anything we want to master in life. Right. We have to set out with the priority. I'm going to master pleasure. And that means we have to dedicate time to pleasure. And that's really the hardest part, believing mm -hmm. that we're worth it. Yes. Yes. And, and we have to accept mm -hmm. that our orgasms are not the same as what we perceive another mm -hmm. woman having. Comparison is the thief of joy. So your orgasms may be completely different than what you see with a partner or in porn. And even the small orgasms are quite wonderful. I mean, even when I, I feel like I want a big one and I just have a little one, oh, it's sweet. It's yeah. still good. It's still a release of my, you know, stress and trauma in my central nervous system. And I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. um, but we need to get to a place where we're simply open to receive. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to take the time for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, an hour, an hour and a half it is not unusual to reach that full body orgasm. Um, it, it takes, it takes time. It takes practice. You have to know you deserve it. So go home. <laughs> play with your pussy <laughs> all right and have happy orgasms <laughs> <laughs>